In this video, I'm excited to introduce you to an incredible tool ISH Shell, a fully functional Linux distribution that serves as the best alternative to Termux for iOS users. With this app, you can install almost any Linux tool, from well-known ones like Ctoolkit, Readhawk, and Metasploit to more niche tools. The great thing is that it even supports Kali Nethunter, similar to Termux, making it an essential tool for anyone looking to run Linux commands on their iPhone or iPad. Throughout this video, I'll guide you through the installation of some practical tools, so let's get started without any further delay. First, head over to the App Store and download ISH Shell. It's completely free and lightweight, which means it won't take up much space on your device. Once installed, open the app. You will find yourself in a terminal environment running Alpine Linux, a minimalist but powerful Linux distribution. Unlike Termux, which uses the App Package Manager, ISH Shell relies on a PK, the package manager used by Alpine Linux. If you're used to apt, don't worry the commands are quite similar, and I have included them all in the video description for your reference. To get started, let's update the package list by typing a PK update. To install any Linux tool, simply use the following command, a PK add tool name. For instance, let's install git by typing a PK add git. The installation process is straightforward, and unlike other package managers, a PK doesn't prompt you to confirm by typing Y. It installs tools directly, making the process smoother. Now that Git is installed. Let's see if sudo works in this environment. And great news, sudo is fully functional in ISH shell too. Now let's move on to installing a more advanced tool. I'll demonstrate this with Redhawk. Redhawk, a powerful all-in-one tool for information gathering, vulnerability scanning, and website crawling. Here's how you can install and run it. First, copy the repository URL of Redhawk. Use git to clone the repository by typing. JIT clone repo URL. After cloning, navigate into the folder where Redhawk is stored. Now, since this tool is written in PHP, you need to make the script executable by running chmod plus xrhawk.php. To run the tool, type phprhawk.php. Oops, it looks like PHP isn't installed yet. No worries, you can easily install it by typing apk add php. Once php is installed, run the tool again using the php command. The tool works perfectly. However, to get the full functionality, you might also need to install missing packages like curl and dom for handling web requests, but I'll skip that part for now. To exit most tools in ISH shell, press CTRL-C. Beyond practical tools, you can also install fun and visual tools like cmatrix. It's simple, just type. A PK add cmatrix. And you'll get that cool matrix-like effect on your terminal. What makes this tool so impressive is that it's running a full Alpine Linux distribution with i686 emulation. Although it's not native to iOS, this emulation allows you to run a wide range of Linux tools. The only limitation is that Ish Shell doesn't support a graphical user interface, but for command line enthusiasts or developers, this is more than enough. I personally use ISH Shell for tools like Nmap, and they run flawlessly. I've even tested C Toolkit, the social engineering toolkit, and I can confirm it works smoothly on ISH Shell as well. This makes it a highly reliable option for those who want Linux-like functionality on their iOS devices. One of the coolest features of Ishshell is that it also supports Kali Nethunter, the mobile penetration testing platform from Kali Linux. However, the process of setting up Nethunter deserves its own video, so stay tuned for that. I highly recommend giving ISH Shell a try, 
especially if you're into Linux tools or ethical hacking. It's an incredibly powerful tool to have on your iPhone or iPad, and I'm sure you'll find it just as useful as I do. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this, and drop a comment below if you want me to try out other tools in Ishell. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye.